This is the 2014 Jeep Compass, and it has the standard dashboard in it. So key it up. Got all the lights and everything. The left side has no EVIC, it's the base model. What I like to do is put an EVIC computer in it. This one you can see. We've got the lights there. That side's just there. And the gauge faces have like no, they're just plain looking with no chrome rings on them. I bought this from a, it's actually from a 13 Jeep Patriot. It has chrome rings around it, which will more match the steering wheel and stuff in this car. I don't know if you can see it. Can't quite see it, but there is a grid that's in that left side. There is a display in it. There's a little button right here. I'll pop that out. I was pulling off this knee panel down here. Just like a little bit better grip on the bottom of the dash. Get this pulled out real quick. Two screws and then some of these friction clips. And then put that aside. Put this grip here to help open the dash. So pull this kind of out and back. I've got these four screws in here, above and below the stereo for the center stack. And we can pull this free. Down in there, and the four and the hold that gauge cluster in. I have this magnetizer tool, the screwdriver, you put it in the hole, pull it back, that's a magnet. That'll hold the screws. 
so I'll pull these out of here. Whatever. Here's the original. That's the one that's going to go back in. So if, you can, you know, if it focuses on that, the original one says US gas base. And it's one without the EVIC. This side has the lights on it and the mileage. This side just has nothing. And it has the chrome faces on it. And this side will light up. As soon as you get it all plugged in, you'll see that it lights up. Right, to get this in, the reverse of what we just did. Lift up on the dash panel. Get the slide right in. Rotate it forward. Plug everything back in. Gray one goes on driver's side, pops in, white one goes in here, and then the entire this little orange keeper that goes on it. Just put a little bit of torque on it and vibrate loose. Okay. Wires on stressed. The cluster face it just has the one plug in, which is the big side. Once that clicks, this has up there a couple of tabs, slide the tabs in the hole, of course. I'm turn the key on and get the Jeep logo, get temperature, and get the miles. Everything works. And get the lights. Is all good. And then I've got two buttons. So these are 
the factory buttons that come on it. I've got oh, this kind of bright light. I got setup and reset. So the cars with the EVIC have a six button pad. Okay, I went to OKQ. I took apart a steering wheel from a, I think it's a 2012 Dodge Caravan G. They're all Chrysler. It had these buttons, which is the same as what my Jeep's got. So I had the step reset, and the other side is the cruise control buttons. And it had the wire harness. So the cruise control buttons have uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a 12 button or a 12 wire connector. The other side has just three wires. A little tiny plug. This one's got a big wide plug. This particular car had stereo buttons. So I guess it's volume and uh, channel select that were on the back side of the spokes. And then a plug that looked like this. That plugs into the steering wheel. I have my steering wheel apart, and my plug looks just like that. I looked up on Rock Auto, a couple other places, looked for a clock spring. The Jeep seems to have one clock spring. So all these wires must go to the same clock spring. So I ordered off eBay. This is, I don't know over there if you can see that. I don't know if it's the top one or the bottom. The bottom was 5604, 6405 AD. So that is a six button, same one I saw in all the uh, what I can research online for um, the EVIC function. So I turned it over, that's got the same plug, and it's the same size as this two button switch. That's what's in the car, this is what I want to put in it. They look the same to me, size wise. You flip them over, they look the same. So I pull the plug off of this, and then I fit it into here, and it fits. So I'm gonna take the steering wheel apart and just swap the switch out, and that should make the car work. everything back off in the car again. I'm going to pull the airbag that takes a, a 10 millimeter. screws on the back side of the bottom spoke. There's one screw underneath, underneath the side of each of these spokes, plus those four screws in the middle, and then a couple of lock tabs in here. And then the center ring will just lift out. Once it lifts out, you can unplug the connectors in the back. I only need to do one. And then that's what holds the uh, back of the button, button panel, switch panel. So there's three, I think those are Torx head screws. Let me get the Torx head uh, driver for that and swap that out.
Okay, got everything back together. Get up here. It's an AC pod in here. Get my light back on. Let's see something. So I got my button pad over here. There. Work the button pad. I got the menu. And now I got left and right buttons. I can reset the timer. I can pick US or uh, a metric. System test. I can go through personal settings. We'll select that one. I'm do language. Auto unlock. Pre unlock. Sound of the horn. Light flash. Headlight delay. So I've got all these different options that the car didn't have before. And of course, it's got the compass. I don't think that I have the talk function. So these top buttons are kind of useless because this has the base stereo in it. But that's all that I was after. It's the average miles per gallon. And distance still empty. So the gauges I had reprogrammed by autopro.com. We fixed the mileage to match the mileage that was in my car. I had them advance it five or six hundred miles ahead of what I thought I'd need. And I've been driving around for two weeks waiting for the miles to match. Now that they match, I was able to change it. My car's accurate. I got the gauge I want. Wish I'd have bought this in the first place. I, I didn't realize the car didn't have to bought it. I would have bought a different car. But it's doable. You can change it, and it works just fine. <laughs>